SurveyMonkey is one of the wonderful online platform to collect both qualitative and quantitative data. So if you are a beginner uh, trying to figure out which one to use, uh, you can go with Qualtrics or SurveyMonkey or any uh, similar platform. But I have been using SurveyMonkey for several years and I've been enjoying. Um, if for the student and the faculty, uh, teachers probably you can look the best plan here. Um, you know, some of them are reasonable. Uh, the cost here you can see you can go personal plans or the business plans depending on your uh, in a budget. I recommend the $32 per month here you see 384 uh, However, for the both faculty and students, there is a better rate. If you go all the way down here, you see the students uh, and or educators. So let's see the pricing. There is uh, some discount for you, $23 per month. Maybe you can just subscribe for a month and collect the data within a week or two weeks and download. Probably that may be the best route for the you know uh, student who are uh, you know have a limited budget for for collecting data or surveys. Uh, and definitely, this is the best option. Uh, here you can collect unlimited in you know, a number of surveys, unlimited questions, and uh, as high as 5,000 responses per month, which is quite a lot. So you have a lot of options here, and um, and definitely you can download your file in a different format. And I will show you in a few minutes uh, how that can be done. Uh, and I've been enjoying this one as a faculty rate to 76 per year or 23 per month. So next steps could be, uh, yes, uh, actually the next step is to sign up. If you do not have a username and password, if you have an existing password, you can log in with your existing password and username. So let me try with my uh, existing username and password right here. Okay, so after you in input your, put your username and password, so click log in. Um, Okay, then the next step you will see on your dashboard the number of surveys you have, your plans. Um, for the new, um, if you are starting something, you know, brand new surveys, you can click always the create surveys and it gives you the options. When you hit create surveys, then you, you know, copy from a past survey or a word file or start from a scratch or import the questions from the existing template as well. So you have lots of options here. Um, so I have a pre-built surveys here under my surveys um, right now I have many here on my list uh, total 17 surveys here so that's quite a lot uh, so let's take a look the first one here recently I started collecting uh, student experience during the pandemic COVID-19 so when I click this one um, you can see uh, the 618 responses are in um, so how you do the survey uh, first thing is I said earlier you create from a scratch or import then you can design the questions here you can see customize the questions you can put the you know insert the logos and it does have a lot of options and choices so it, it is fairly simple and this is what I really like is you can customize uh, we have a you know lots of options here bold italics or other or inserting hyperlinks this is really cool um, so you can customize each questions here um, and yes these are the you see here some of them are open-ended questions this is great for the qualitative uh, or open-ended responses and I put the asterisk to make the questions required so that you know you get the the responses for the absolutely important questions that you think is a part of your surveys and here you can see the Likert scale questions, the one to five or one to four, depending on the type of questions you have. Um, and these are great to collect quantitative, um, you know, uh, nature of uh, data. Um, and this survey is quite long. I recommend not to include too many questions um, because you know response rate is something important. You like to uh, get as many responses as you uh, you know you expect. Right now, you know, I have only 500 plus responses out of a large population. The survey went out to at least 7,000 students, but the responses, you, as you see here earlier, only uh, 500 plus because, um, uh, you know, I intensely I included a lot of questions, and sometimes students are not comfortable 
to fill out the questions when you list too many. Um, so the next thing is once you design the questions, you can you know click on um, you know the preview what it looks like the questions actually when you hit the preview um, this is the uh, questions uh, a student will receive I mean the the option that looks on their screen so it's nice and clean and then it goes to next page um, each time and then the nice feature about feature about this one is you can look into the device computer or their handheld device tablets or iPhone iPads um, so it has options to see the questions so if I'm uh, a participant and I want to see the question on from my phone so this is how it looks like on your phone so it still is nice and clean that's nice uh, right now I'm on computers so it's a desktop and then yes they can click the next questions uh, however I made the question required so unless until you have a responses you uh, you can you can't go to the next question so here I select the option so now I can see the next okay that was the preview collect responses is something you can create the URL that you can share via Facebook or any social media or you can email um, you know many survey platform including SurveyMonkey or Qualtrics they have a place uh, you can you know add the collectors you can um, you know insert the um, the emails so you can personalize email which is the great thing great feature of this one I simply use the social media platform um, a link so that link can post can be posted on social media or you can email uh, so there are a lot of way uh, to collect the data Personally, I recommend to go with the email. This is ideal for tracking your survey response. The, the system automatically can send out the reminder for those who did not fill out the surveys or who just, you know, forget to fill it out in the first attempt. So this is really nice. Um, and there are a lot of options how you want to collect uh, the responses. Uh, analyze results. This is a cool feature. So you can see the types of or the basic characteristics of your surveys here uh, the responses so let's take a look this is the the quite one of the questions about their residency where they are living so you can see you know it clearly that majority of them were living off campus and few of them were on on campus and you can customize these uh, figures you know you can go by the pie chart and these are neat and clean you can go with the bar graph histogram you know uh, my preference is again the bar graph or pie chart so even in the pie it looks really nice and clean um, and you can apply the same for the rest of the questions across the questionnaire um, you know depending on the question so here these are the open-ended questions open-ended uh, may be good for the qualitative type of you know qualitative um, responses um, and um, there are also some way to filter them for example, you can create a word cloud um, like this, or the you go by the list. Uh, right now, I don't have many uh, responses here; just three responses. So, uh, you know, not enough data to produce a word cloud. So, let's take a look if I have more responses here. Um, since the, this question was for those students who were living. On campus, so I didn't have many responses. The seven students were living on uh, on campus per this particular survey. Okay. There was a similar survey for those who were living on campus, and I have a lot of qualitative, uh, you know, data. So let me look into this one. 100, 121 responses. So when I go here um, and analyze results. When I hit analyze, yes, the system generates, uh, you know, basic uh, data points for you. So for this one, I have uh, actually uh, you can see 21 responses. Those who are living on campus. Um, so based on this one, I can generate some responses. Let me see the word cloud. Uh, what do you wish your university leader would know? Uh, so when I hit, you can see here the bigger the word. Uh, you know the higher the number of responses so five students said experience learning so if you go list the you know you can see majority of student 
you know have some something to say about the online learning during these pandemics so I really like the word cloud and you can filter it uh, there is a way to customize it uh, you know you can go by multicolor or single color and those things but this is a cool features for doing uh, you know some word cloud general analysis of the uh, open-ended responses from um, and this is the more another quantitative again you can go by different uh, you know um, you know options here under under customize so you can go by you know the some numerical um, you know bar graph or the other way uh, but I prefer this one so I apply to the all and hit save and then you want to make you know include the same uh, features to the rest of the question so you may be thinking how I can download those data points so on on my dashboard you can see here uh, the icon this down arrow this means download so when you click uh, this one is a export uh, meaning download so you can export all kind of data so when you click export all it has also some features uh, all summary data or all responses or individual responses uh, for the quick you know view of what it looks like uh, of the all the data points I t typically look uh, all summary data so when I click this one it gives you options whether to include open-ended or not to include generally you know uh, uh, the PDF is nice I would go with uh, open including open in date and current view uh, or you can download in a PDF or uh, X you know X XLS or, or CSV data file so my preference here is a PDF so let me download this one and it is pretty quick when I hit export and it is saying your export has started so within a you know few seconds uh, you can see that a PDF being prepared or ready and the once it is ready then you can you know hit download so here it's ready so I hit download so it should be uh, here in a second for me to see what it looks like the uh, summary data download has been completed so you can see the data all and this is the data view uh, summary so you can see the first question second question and then all open-ended questions here uh, you can yes get the timestamps and the individualized responses we don't know so we made it anonymous uh, in any surveys we usually avoid personal information uh, for the um, you know con to, to maintain the confidentiality of the data points uh, actually you guys are not supposed to see this one also and for those who are uh, looking the data for the uh, quantitative analysis so I click again export so here is the tab you see new export when I click and I like to see all individual responses and this time I like to download all data file in SPSS so that I can run some quantitative uh, analysis so I choose SPSS and all the data individual data will be downloaded here so here is the data file name so hit export and again it will take a couple of seconds to generate the file uh, it's here and it will be downloaded in a uh, few few seconds uh, depending on your computer server oh, actually it's ready here um, right here on the screen you can see download um, so you need SPSS software uh, in order to uh, download uh, in order to open this file without SPSS file you will not be able to uh, see it I have SPSS on this computer so you can see the file is uh, opening in the background uh, yes you can see the file and open it now um, you need a software in order to open and see the data file so on this machine machine I'm using version 26 uh, right now we have 27 uh, but any software you have from version 20 or 18 plus would be uh, fine Oh, I didn't know that my license for this SPSS has expired so I have to download or purchase the new one um, so I was not able to see the data points here if you are wondering what SPSS um, do I need or how do I download um, you can google IBM SPSS grad student package this is probably the best one uh, price-wise 
um, so on the hub is one of the area to buy um, however you can download uh, from any website that you want uh, so you can see uh, it's, it's uh, low is 34 35 dollars uh, let's take a look the on the hub this is more um, trustworthy website um, so it's, it's the SPSS 27 version 27 so probably that's the good one uh, yes I think this is good one um, the price wise is a bit uh, pricey um, you need a software that includes basic and advanced statistics uh, probably you do not need any advanced so anything that includes the basic and advanced statistics um, something you know uh, in advance probably you know something that can run ANOVA, MANOVA, MANOVA, regression, you know, those things, which is okay. Um, you can go uh, probably the medium, medium one. I, I recommend with this $51 uh, version, which is okay. So usually when you click this one, uh, it takes you to the place uh, where you need a registration and, uh, and download the software. Uh, while installing, it may take uh, several minutes, depending on your machine and the computer server uh, that that's there. So you see in the Google, I try I type um, IBM SPSS trial version. Um, yes, you can take advantage of trial version for a few days. Uh, go with the IBM.com. This is the official website. Uh, any website and any website is okay. Um, and you can try uh, trial version downloading SPSS uh, any trial version 22 or higher would be fine I hope you enjoyed it um, I hope to see you in the next video hope you subscri subscribe and like uh, feel free to send the comment and questions so I will you know prepare another video that uh, you know better serve your needs thanks